Hey everyone, DJ here. Today I want to talk about the election. Election day is less than a week away, November 5th, and we have two candidates, the Democratic candidate, Kamala Harris, and the Republican candidate, Donald Trump. And people will ask, why not Donald Trump? And that's why I made this video, to explain why not Donald Trump. Donald Trump has been the most polarizing political character that we've ever seen in America. There's been nobody else like him. And a lot of it has not been good because of the things he has said and done. I've typically voted Democrat, but I don't vote Democrat just because I'm a Democrat. I vote Democrat because their policies align with the middle class and poor people more. So none of the political parties are perfect. Democrats are not perfect and Republicans are not perfect. But the way I look at it is that Democrats are more the party of the people. They care more about different classes of people. And Republicans only care about rich people. All you have to do is look at the policies that they back and look at the people that they exclude. What annoys me about both parties is that they both have extreme groups. We have the far left wing groups and we have the far MAGA right wing groups. And I feel like on the far left, they don't have any power. So they can't change nothing. Because most of the Democratic politicians want to enact laws that is in line with most of the American citizens. On the Republican side, most of the senators and the people in power are MAGA, which is extremists. And the man that they have at the head of the Republican Party is Donald Trump, and he's an extreme MAGA Republican. So the laws that Republicans are going to enact are going to be extreme, and it's not going to be in line with what most Americans want. Just go to Fox News and listen for one hour. And you would hear lie after lie after lie. All you have to do is just verify it and you'll see that they're just lying. We're talking about senators lying on a daily basis for Donald Trump. And before Donald Trump came about, there wasn't that extreme type of lying. Yes, everybody lie. You know, humans involved, you're going you're gonna to have people lying. But not to this extreme. They're lying when there's evidence to prove that what they're saying is a lie. So that's what really annoys me about Republicans. So I feel like they're not a real party anymore. It's like a party of propaganda, and it's all because of Donald Trump. And before Donald Trump came, we didn't have this big divide. We didn't have so many lies. We didn't even know what the word disinformation meant. But now, it's a word that everybody knows because Republicans lie every single day. So Donald Trump is actually a cancer of the Republican Party. And it would have served them best if they picked somebody else. They would have a much, much better chance of winning the election. But now with Donald Trump, I think the chances of winning the election comes to 50-50. Just imagine Mike Pence, who everybody regards as a good man, was basically called names by Trump and his supporters, and the Republican senators did not stand up for Mike Pence. And Mike Pence is an avid Christian, and not even the Christian people was backing Mike Pence. Just imagine Christian people was backing Donald Trump over Mike Pence. And Mike Pence is an avid Christian. That's basically his whole identity. Uh, Donald Trump is just the opposite. Donald Trump doesn't even know any verses in the Bible. But Christian followers chose Donald Trump over Mike Pence. Think about that for a sec. And remember, Trump followers were saying, hang Mike Pence. They wanted to hang an American citizen, the vice president at the time of the United States of America. Imagine if they wanted to hang a white man, a white Christian man who was the vice president just imagine what they're going to want to do to you and I, who are not white and not privileged. Donald Trump is a cancer to the Republican Party and a cancer to the citizens of the United States of America. I've been in America for the past 25 years, and I'm an American citizen, and I live in New Jersey. I remember the first time Donald Trump won, and it was a shock to everyone. It was a shock because people just couldn't believe a man like Donald Trump could be the president because of the things he's said and done said a lot of insulting things to many people for no particular reason. In the last eight years, there's been a lot of dishonesty in politics. And I, I think that shouldn't be something that's in American society at all. But it is. Because I feel like it's a small level of corruption. And on the Democratic side, one of the things that I don't like... Now, first let me say that I support gay people. I feel like gay people have a right to exist just like anybody else. Just because somebody is gay doesn't mean that they shouldn't have the rights. You know, their rights should be less than anybody else. And you wouldn't believe 
a lot of Republicans hate gay people. I don't know why, because I am sure that there are a lot of gay Republicans. And Democrats actually support gay people a lot more than Republicans. So when I hear gay people are voting for Republicans, I'm just astonished because Republicans have done nothing to support LGBT people. They have done nothing to support them. Just go look it up. What I say is, is all facts. I don't go with hyperbole. And if you have watched this channel, you would see that I just tell the truth. So Republicans do not support gay people at all and Democrats do. But what I don't like is that transgender men competing with women. That should not happen. Men are naturally stronger than women. Naturally. We have more muscle tone. We're just naturally stronger. So a man competing with a woman in professional sports shouldn't happen. I don't care if the man thinks he was a woman or if he was born a woman or if he has woman hormones. I don't care. It's just unfair. I don't think that should be an argument. Now, I support gay people. I support trans people, people who were born and they feel like they were born in the wrong body. And that's not their fault. People don't understand. People are born like that. They're born feeling like that. There could be issues that arise that cause someone to be born as a man but feel as a woman. And uh, to be born as a woman and feel as if they're a man. That's not their fault. We can't blame them for that. And we should embrace them and have laws that protect them. But Republicans really don't care about these people. They believe that all gay people are faking it. That's not true. 97% of gay people are really gay. That's really how they feel. And they feel that way because they have an, an imbalance inside of them that causes them to feel that way. And that's how they were born. That's not their fault. So I don't support transgender males competing against women. But that issue is not a big issue for me. I'm not going to vote Republican because a uh, transgender man beat a woman in a race. Because at the end of the day, professional sports is not something that's important. It's just entertainment. Let's talk about the economy. Under Barack Obama, the economy was great. Trump inherited a, a good economy and the economy was, was running good until COVID came along and just trashed everything. Donald Trump was in charge when COVID came around and he's the one that helped implement the vaccine. But Donald Trump did a terrible job managing the whole COVID situation because his personality doesn't allow him to have empathy. That's the problem with Donald Trump. He doesn't know that when you have something like COVID going around, people are getting sick and people are dying, you have to show empathy for people. Donald Trump always thinks he's the smartest guy in the room. And let me tell you something, no matter how smart you think you are, there's always going to be somebody that's going to be smarter than you on some topic. You're not going to be the smartest guy in the room on every single topic. You might be good at math, but there's somebody might be better at English. They might be good at, at English, but somebody's going to be better at sociology or something. So the best thing to do is to be humble. Listen and learn. Offer your opinion and listen to other people's opinion. And then you all could come to a conclusion of what's the best move. But Donald Trump in the room with doctors, he thinks he's smarter than doctors. That's why he said that people should drink bleach in order to cure COVID. It's one of the stupidest things anybody has ever said in the history of mankind. I'm trying to understand, did Donald Trump actually go to college and graduate fairly? Did he actually do the classes? Because... When I hear him speak and the things that he say, a lot of times it makes no sense. Now, I'm not saying that all Donald Trump policies are bad, but a lot of reasons why people hate Donald Trump so much is because he doesn't seem to have any moral compass. And that's a big thing. Somebody with no moral compass don't care about anybody. That person is self-centered and they would just say anything to anybody. And Donald Trump has a history of being a bully. Just look at all the things that he has said. So on the Democratic side, we have... Kamala Harris. And I can't see much to not like about her. Kamala is vice president under Joe Biden for the past four years. And as vice president, Kamala has supported Joe Biden's policies because that's what vice presidents do. The same thing Mike Pence did when Trump was in power and the same thing that all vice presidents have done in the history of American politics. If Kamala wins the election, she will be the first female president of the United States and she would be able to enact her own policies and will be able to hold her accountable for everything that she does. So when you're the president and Donald Trump was president before, and I feel like he was given a chance to be president because people think he was a su successful businessman. But in my estimation, 
with the amount of bankruptcies that he went through. I wouldn't say he was a successful businessman which translates into a good president for the economy. No, I would say he was a good businessman for himself. It's a difference because when you're running a, a, a country, you have to think about everyone in the country. When you're running a personal business, you're mostly thinking about yourself and all the profits that you make for yourself. It's two totally different things. So when I hear people say, oh, one Donald Trump, because he's going to be better for the economy, I totally disagree. Joe Biden did a great job with the economy. Great job. And by the way, Joe Biden is a true patriot and he's a leader and he's not a man that, that takes nonsense from anybody. I'm a black man and I have two black kids and I have a black wife, but my life is not just about me being black. I have white neighbors, I have white friends, and we have great relationships. But as a black man, there's no way I can vote for a racist. And that's what Trump is. Let me read some things about Trump that you probably don't know. In 1989, Trump and his father were sued by the Justice Department for discriminating against black people because Trump and his father were refusing to rent to black people and only wanted whites in their building. That's textbook racism. In 1990, Trump accused native Indians of not being native Indians because of their dark complexion. Tribe leaders at the time said Trump was racist for his remarks, and he definitely was. During the Barack Obama administration, Trump insisted many times that Barack was born in Africa and he was not American, even though there was ample proof that Barack was an American. So Trump went over many years. Every chance he can get, he mentioned that Barack was not American, even though Barack is American. Another example of his racism, the Central Park Five, who were five black men who were forced into confessing to raping and killing a white woman. Subsequently, they were exonerated when they found the person who actually did the crime. But when they were accused of raping a white woman, Trump took out a full page ad calling for the reinstatement of the death penalty for these men. Now Trump didn't take out that ad when a white person did a crime. He took out a full page ad when he thought it was a black person that committed a crime. That's the kind of person Donald Trump really is. Trump has also insulted African Americans as well as Hispanics, Native Americans, Muslims, Jews, immigrants, women, and people with disabilities. Trump is a bully. He's the most famous bully that everyone knows. He takes pride in insulting people. Anybody that disagree with Donald Trump, he finds a way to insult them. People who haven't even insulted Donald Trump, they just say they disagree with his policy. He goes out of his way to insult them. And if their family are not Americans, he's going to say something bad about Hispanics or Muslims or Jews. That's just how he is. He's a bully. Let me ask you a question. In America, the thing that people hate the most are bullies. When you go to school, the school bully is the worst person you want your child to encounter. Why would you be voting for a bully to be the American president? That I don't understand. Trump also doesn't care about the middle class or poorer Americans. The biggest bill Trump passed when he was president was the bill so that rich people can get a tax break. Trump said, and this is what he said, Trump said that workers pay was too high. He was referring to middle class and poorer Americans. Trump is anti-union. You know what the union does? A union protects the workers from being victimized by the employers. And Trump is against the union. So Trump don't care if someone is fired because of race, because of bias, or because of any other trivial reason. He thinks that companies should be able to just fire anybody willy-nilly. That shouldn't happen. People's jobs should have some type of protection. Someone should be fired for legitimate reasons, not because of their race or not because of something trivial. In 1992, Trump was speaking to his friend Philip Johnson and he said that you have to treat women like shit. That's what he said. When Trump was running for president, there was an Access Hollywood tape that came out. And on the tape, Trump was saying that he can grab women's private parts without them saying anything. Imagine that. He's gone through his life because he's a celebrity, because he's rich and he meets a woman, he just grabs their private parts just cause he's, he's privileged without their permission. This is the man that people want to vote to be president. When I see women voting for Donald Trump, it turns my stomach because I'm saying, are they not aware of the things that Trump has done and said against women? Let me ask you a question. Why do you think the KKK, the neo-Nazis and white supremacist groups support Donald Trump? Ask yourself that question. 
They support Donald Trump because he shares their same ideals. He doesn't speak out against them. He embraces their support. This is not a man that should be running the best country in the free world. Let me talk about some more things that Trump has said that has been racist. Trump said that laziness is a trait of black people. Now, the things I'm saying in this video are all true. I'm not making this up. This is not exaggeration. This is all things that Donald Trump has actually said. When Trump was running for president and Ted Cruz was running against him, Trump insulted Ted Cruz's father because his father is Latino. And he made up a bunch of lies about Ted Cruz's father. And Ted Cruz turned around and endorses Donald Trump. That's like shooting yourself in the foot. Some of these people that support Donald Trump, they have no shame. Trump insulted Mitch McConnell's wife just because the woman is Asian. Trump said, this is a quote, must immediately seek help and advice from his China loving wife, Coco Chow. So he's calling Mitch McConnell's wife, Coco Chow. That's not the woman's name. The woman's name is Elaine Chow. He also calls her a crazy wife. This guy is just going around insulting people's wives, insulting people's husband, like he's a crazy person. Why would someone support someone like that? Trump said, I keep going, there's a lot. Trump said that Haitians and Africans are coming from shithole countries. He has no decorum, no respect for anyone to make a statement like that. Now is the country of, of Haiti, is it in disarray? Yes. Are there some African countries where things are not good? Yes, there is. But you don't just go insulting people. You don't do that. You show people respect. It doesn't matter if someone has less money than you or in a lesser situation than you. You don't go and just insult them. Do you think these people want to be in that situation they are? They wish their country was better. Most recently, Trump said Haitians were kidnapping people's pets and eating them. It seems like the whole MAGA base it's just lies upon lies upon lies. As I said, politicians are not the most honest people, right? But Trump has come and did that a thousand times over. I mean, he's the most dishonest person that I've ever heard. Every time Trump has a speech, he's lying. Every single time he's lying. Trump has never given a statement without lying in that statement. Never. It's lies and insults. A lot of time unprovoked. In 2017, Trump said that people from Haiti all have AIDS. This is not made up. This is everything that Trump has said. When we had the coronavirus, Trump called the coronavirus the Chinese virus. Do you see a pattern here? He's always disparaging people based on where they're from or based on their race. He also called COVID Kung Flu. Do you know when Trump was making these disparaging comments towards Asian people, at the same time, Asian people were being targeted. Some people were being attacked in public. And as a president of the United States, he should be the adult in the room. He stooped down to call people names based on where they're from. That is not a man I would even want to walk down the street with. Would you want to marry somebody like Donald Trump? Would you want someone to bring someone like that home? If you had a daughter and she brings someone like Donald Trump home, with his same insults and mannerisms and all that. Would you want someone like that? And his lies also. And just add that he's cheated on his wives. Is that someone you want to be marrying your daughter? The man has no respect for anyone. When I hear Latino people voting for Donald Trump, it blows my mind. Of all the different groups of people in the US, Latino people has been disparaged more by Donald Trump than any other group. So if you're from a, a Latin country, let's say you're from Spain, and maybe Donald Trump hasn't said anything bad about Spain, but he said bad things about Mexico and Puerto Rico. Doesn't that affect you that your fellow Latinos be, are being insulted? Are you just gonna sit there and say, well, he didn't say anything about Spain, so do you not care about other people? Let me tell you something. When I see white people voting against Donald Trump, I applaud them because they're not just voting for a man who looks like them. They wanna vote for someone with substance. They're not just voting because they have the same color skin. I applaud them. That's how Donald Trump lost the last election. Trump called Puerto Ricans politically motivated ingrates. He also downplayed how many people died during the hurricane in Puerto Rico. Trump also do not respect the military. Trump said he likes military people who were not captured. And when he said that, he was trying to insult John McCain. John McCain is an American hero. He was a decorated military veteran. Trump claimed that he had bone spurs 
so they won't draft him in the military. That's the difference between these two men. Yet Trump had the gall to insult a man like John McCain. And Trump was insulting John McCain even after John McCain died. And very few Republicans stood up and said anything. How could I support a party like that? Let me tell you something. Right is right and wrong is wrong. When you see wrong, you need to stand up. Especially if you're somebody in power. Stand up and say, this is wrong. But a lot of these politicians, they cower to Donald Trump. I have no idea why. Like they don't want to be insulted by him. Like grow some balls. Stand up and do your job. If Trump says something wrong, you tell him, hey, that wasn't right. And if he did something right, you say, hey, I like what you did. Do not cower to a coward like Donald Trump. Let me tell you some of the people that are associated with Donald Trump. These are the people that he associates himself with. People he has dinner with, people who he hang out with, people who he take advice from. Stephen Miller, he's a white nationalist. He said recently, they want to restore America to true Americans. Let me decipher that for you. They want America to only be for white people. America was built on the backs of immigrants from all over the world. That's what makes America such a great country. There's so many of us from so many different places and we all have to live together in peace, which is not something that's easy, but America has done it successfully and we're one of the greatest countries in the entire world. So when you have people like Stephen Miller who says statements like restore America to true Americans, it's a big problem. This is someone who Donald Trump takes advice from. If you're not sure by now that Donald Trump is a racist, then I don't know what to tell you. Kanye West hates Jews and he's made many comments to that effect. But Donald Trump thought it was a great idea to have Kanye West over at his place for lunch. So when I hear Jews are voting for Donald Trump, I'm wondering what are they thinking? The man don't care about Jews, don't care about black people, he only cares about himself. Trump just had a big rally in Madison Square Garden and he hired a comedian to tell jokes. And this comedian decided that it was a good idea to tell racist jokes about Puerto Rico, about black people, about Jews. He said that Puerto Rico was a floating island of garbage. And he made comments about black people associated with watermelon. Then he made disparaging comments about Palestines and Jews. This is the person that they hired, paid money to come and speak in front of thousands of people for a rally that's being broadcast to everyone. Do you imagine the things that are being said when the cameras go away and there's nobody around to record what is being said? You imagine the things that they say about, about black people, about women, about Jews, about Spanish people? You imagine what they say? And culture said that Trump is an awful person, yet she's still voting for him. That I don't understand. Alex Jones, who claimed that Sandy Hook massacre where 20 children were killed, he said that was a hoax. He said it never happened. He is in Donald Trump's circle. A, a bunch of looney tunes this man has around him. Sandy Hook, where 20 kids died and, and a couple adults also died. Verifiable facts that this incident happened. It was a massacre and Alex Jones claimed it was a hoax for many, many years until he was sued and he lost that suit. He's a Republican and he's associated with Donald Trump. Rudy Giuliani, who used to be an honorable person. They said he did a great job around 9-11. I never liked Rudy Giuliani. I never liked him. He was always a racist, but they said he did a great job for 9-11. Rudy Giuliani associated himself with Donald Trump. And since then, the man has lied every time he has spoken. He's lied so much about the election that he was sued many times and he just lost a lawsuit and he's going to lose his condo in Manhattan. They said the condo is worth about six million. He's going to lose that. He's going to lose that and many other assets because in the lawsuit that he lost, he was required to pay about $120 million for lying for Donald Trump. It seems like lying is just a normal thing now. It's, it's to the extreme because sometimes, you know, people will tell a lie that you can't really verify. In the past eight years with Donald Trump, People have been lying even though there's video to prove that what they're saying is a lie. J.D. Vance is the one who floated around the lie about Haitians eating people's dogs and cats. He's the person Trump chose to be his vice president. How could people vote these type of people into office 
if Donald Trump gets a second term as president, Lord help us, he's going to destroy the institution and he's going to take America down with him. And it's going to be a long time before we ever recover. I do believe that. If he gets reelected, he's only going to have yes people around him. Extremists. There's nobody that's going to be able to do checks and balances. Nick Fuentes. He's a white supremacist and he hates Jews and just about every other race. He is in Trump's inner circle. And people wonder why I'm not voting for Trump, Donald Trump. I can't vote for someone who's racist. I am a black man. And if I was a white man, I still wouldn't have voted for Donald Trump. Because why would I vote for a racist if I'm a white man? I wouldn't. Do you know that America and Russia has not ever been friendly to each other? They both spy on each other and they both wish the worst on each other. The leader of Russia is called Vladimir Putin. And in the past four years, Republicans have only said nice things about this man. We're talking about Tucker Carlson, Donald Trump, and many other people from the MAGA base has been praising Putin. But Putin has invaded Ukraine and killed an untold amount of people for absolutely no reason. Yet, this is the man that Republicans are praising. And I'm wondering to myself, are these people crazy? I stand up with Ukraine, fighting for their country, trying to protect themselves. And Joe Biden and Kamala Harris stands up with Ukraine. I can't stand with Donald Trump because he's supporting Vladimir Putin. And Putin is not a good man, not by any stretch of the imagination. I don't understand how any good person could support Donald Trump or could support Vladimir Putin. People talk about the border. When you hear people say they voted for Donald Trump, first thing you hear, oh, the, the border is crazy. Is the border a problem? Absolutely. Absolutely. There are too many people coming into the country illegally. Yes, that is a problem. But when Republicans had a chance to vote on a bill that can help stop people from coming in on the border, you know what they did? They listened to Donald Trump and they didn't vote on the bill because they wanted it to be a political issue for this election so they can help Trump win. They don't care about the American people. They don't care about illegals coming in over the border. They care about serving Donald Trump. When I hear about black people talk about immigrants illegally coming over the border, I look at them and I said, you were an immigrant at one time. Do you not have a heart? And this is why I give Joe Biden credit. Joe Biden has empathy. He has compassion. He doesn't preside over the country thinking about his own interests. When I hear black people voting for Donald Trump, it pains me, it hurts me to no end. And then they say, oh, it's the border. I'm like, are you stupid? That's why you're gonna vote for a man because there's some illegal people coming over the border. The man is a racist and you're black. You're voting against your own self. What do you think is gonna happen when Trump gets in power and they put people like Nick Fuentes and, and RFK Jr. in power? These people want to root out everyone who is not white. They wanna discriminate against anyone who's not white and who's not straight. Most Republicans get their news from Fox News. Fox News is actually the most popular news station in America. That means 90 something percent of Republicans get their news from Fox News. Let me tell you something you maybe that you don't know. Fox News was sued by Dominion, which is the company that built the voting machines. And Fox News agreed to pay Dominion 787 0.5 million dollars and they agreed to pay Dominion that amount because Dominion sued them for over a billion dollars because they were lying on national television saying that the 2020 election was fraudulent because of Dominion's machine. So Fox News which has big expensive lawyers admitted just by the fact that they paid Dominion 787.5 million dollars which is almost a billion dollars. They paid Dominion that money because they were lying to the American people about everything during that cycle. Lying about the election being stolen. Lying about the machines being fraudulent. This is the news station that most Republicans get their information from. A news station that lies. $787.5 million they had to pay. And they're going to have to pay even more when other people sue them. That's not a station that I want to get my news from. Most of the stuff on Fox News is propaganda because they want to get Donald Trump in power. Let me tell you what shocked me about the last election. The last election for me was about good versus evil. When I say good, I meant Joe Biden versus evil Donald Trump. 
I was so apprehensive and nervous about the 2020 election. And I remember when the results finally came out and Joe Biden won. I was so relieved. But when I saw the number of people that voted for Donald Trump, I was astonished. I was shocked that so many people voted for Donald Trump, a man that has no moral compass. 74 million people voted for Donald Trump in 2020. The good news is 81 million people voted for Joe Biden. And I thank those 81 million people. Good won over evil that day. Donald Trump was in power for four years and he couldn't convince people to vote for him again. I hope this time he loses again because I don't want to hear about this man ever again after this election. When Trump lost the election, then claimed it was fraudulent. He lost 60 cases by judges, some of them who were Republicans, and still continued to lie and said he won the election. Then he instigated the January 6th insurrection, and he refused to call off the mob that was attacking the Capitol. And on that day, a lot of people were injured. A lot of police were injured on that day. And a woman lost her life, and she was part of the mob, and she got shot by one of the cops. And Trump say that was a day of love. How could people vote for someone like that? Joe Biden, he has empathy, compassion, and humility. He's an American hero. And Joe Biden is just, he's too old to run again. That's obvious. He's suffering from old age and it's time to pass the torch onto somebody else. And that's why we have Kamala Harris and she's gonna do a great job. But Joe Biden, if you look at his policies, he was thinking about the middle class and poor people, not just rich people. He's been trying to get student loans forgiven for everyone and Republicans has been fighting it tooth and nail. You know why? Because Republicans do not care about the middle class or poor people. Getting a college degree in America should be free. We shouldn't have to pay thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to get a higher education. That should be free. I would pay extra on my taxes for higher level free education for everyone in America. Because what happens when we have to pay thousands and thousands of dollars for college degree is that it creates classes of people where poor people cannot afford to pay for a college degree. And if you go to Indeed, 99% of the jobs are asking you for a degree. But how are poor people going to get a degree when we can't afford to pay for a degree? Please tell me. People in families with money, they can afford to send their kids to Harvard and all these different colleges and, and pay for it out of pocket, no problem. Poor people, we got to get a, a loan and be in debt paying off this loan for years and years and years. It's keeping us in poverty. It's not fair. It's not a fair system. Do you think Donald Trump cares about that? No. Do you think Republicans care about that? Hell no. They've done nothing to help the middle class and poor people. Nothing. Joe Biden has championed this cause from day one. Trump fans don't get it. They think he's some kind of king and they're going to follow him straight off a cliff. They're wondering why people hate Trump. Like, I don't know if they're living under a rock. The amount of disparaging things that Trump has said about so many different groups. Trump has no moral ethics or values. He has none. We hate his lies. We hate his racism. We hate his attempt to overthrow the government and force himself on us. The fact that people make excuses and turn a blind eye to the things Donald Trump has done and said is shameful. Nobody, no matter what race you are, should be voting for a man like Donald Trump. He's gonna to continue to degrade the American society. So on November 5th, when you go to vote, and make sure you go to vote, make sure you're not voting for a man like Donald Trump. Your kids and your grandkids are depending on you to make the right decision. Do not take this election lightly. So the three main issues in this election is the economy, which Joe Biden has done a great job, is illegal immigration, which is a problem, and it has been a problem for a long time, also under Trump for four years, that was not fixed in any way. And the last is abortion rights. Let's talk a little bit about abortion rights because I lean more Republican on this topic. I don't think that people should be able to have abortions indiscriminately. I feel like abortions should be only for medical emergencies. If the life of the mother is in jeopardy, then yes, we can have an, an abortion. But most abortions actually happen because women decide that they just don't want to have the baby. I just don't think that's morally right. Now, I'm not a religious person, but I just don't think that is morally right. I feel like men and women need to act more responsibly. That means contraceptive. 
condoms, um, birth control pills. People shouldn't be allowed to be irresponsible while having sex and then expect to just go and kill the fetus. I just do not agree with that at all. Now, Democrats believe that a woman should be able to do that. And I'm more in the middle, but I'm not extreme Republican on this because some Republicans believe that people shouldn't be able to have abortions at all for any reason. And that's just crazy. So I don't side with all the policies of Democrats. And I assume that a lot of Republicans don't side with everything that Donald Trump is saying and doing. But what I cannot excuse is racism. I cannot excuse the bullying of all the different candidates the Republicans could have chosen. Why didn't they pick a better man? Why didn't they pick somebody with some level of decency, with some morals? Donald Trump was the worst person they could have picked. The reason why they lost the election in 2020 was because of Donald Trump. I can't wait until the day that I don't ever hear the name Donald Trump. But I fear that if Donald Trump does win this election, there's going to be a lot more Donald Trumps after he's out of office in four years. There's going to be a lot of them. Because if they see a man of that low moral standard could win the American presidency, I guarantee you there's going to be a lot of copycats following in this same pattern of racism, of putting down and insulting women, trying to divide the country. We need better people in power. Let me tell you something. The United States of America is made up of many different groups of people, many different races, many different backgrounds. Some of us are married to each other. That's what America is. Donald Trump wants to make America a country of strictly white people. That, my friends, is impossible to do because there are too many different groups of people in America. Millions and millions and millions of people from different backgrounds in America. So if Donald Trump and his people are trying to make America strictly for white people, there's gonna be a big problem and it more than likely gonna turn into a civil war. And I think that's what they want, to divide the country, to divide us so that America will not be America anymore. Donald Trump have said many times how much he admires these terrible people in history like Vladimir Putin, and he has mentioned favorable things about Hitler and the president of China. These are not people that the president of the United States should be admiring. If you know someone who looks different than you, who is a friend of yours or a neighbor or goes to school with one of your kids and you wanted to remain like that, Donald Trump is not the man to vote for. If you want to see peace and harmony in the US, Donald Trump is not the man you want to vote for. America is not strictly a white country. America is made up of white people and black people and Muslims and Indians and Jews and every other different group you could think of, they're here in America. And we all want to live together in harmony and we all want to be respected. We don't want to be insulted by the person who's in charge of leading us. And lastly, I want to say this. If you believe in the rule of law, if you believe that women should be treated with respect. If you believe that America is for Americans of many different backgrounds, races, and not solely for white nationalists, vote for anyone else but Donald Trump.